Continuing on with the 2019 D-Bird toolpath, in this video we're going to look at a 5-axis example. Everything will be basically the same as before, grabbing the quarter inch ball end mill, grabbing a tool holder that is appropriate. The part surface, again, grabbing the entire, the entire block. Excluded edges. For this part, we're going to assume that the bottom of our part here is on a fixture. So for this, I'm going to say that uh, I'll grab this face. It will return those, the outer loop, and the outer loop will be excluded into this uh, deburring process. Deburr size will remain the same. Over on the tool axis control, we are going to go into a five axis simultaneous. From here, we need to define a strategy. We've got either normal to contour or fixed to main axis. Uh, with a part like this, because I am needing to rotate all the way to the corner here, normal to curve might be a little too steep for the index. So I'm going to go fixed to main axis. The main axis by default will be grabbed from the Z axis of the current WCS, which for this operation is currently in my top plane, which uh, should work fine for this operation. We can limit the tilt range as well. If I don't want to go any steeper than 45 degrees, I can input that in there. I'll leave the remaining values as is. We do have the increased holder clearance here. Linking parameters, now we've got some additional options since we are in a 5-axis cutting motion. We have to define our clearance type, whether that's a plane, cylinder, or sphere. Again, um, it might be easiest to let Mastercam try and figure some of this stuff out for you, so I'm going to go with automatic. And all we need to do here is set distance values where needed. And there's the resulting tool path. Go into a quick little back plot here so we can have an idea roughly about what's going to happen. Again, deburring around the, the outer top profile. And then the tool starts to come down one of the sides. And notice as it does come down, it increases its tilt. Uh, that is to maintain that clearance that we've specified of the half inch between holder and part. And it's not getting to a point where the tool is coming out normal to these slots. It's maintaining that 45 degree uh, maximum rotation or maximum tilt. And to get a really good understanding about what's going to happen here, it may be best to go into a machine simulation. And here's the part in machine simulation. We've got it mounted up on a trunnion uh, on top of a imaginary fixture here, but uh, nonetheless it should prove the point um, that we're after here about clearances. So dragging through, again, deburring the top, rotating no more than 45 degrees, um, coming up the side, and as it comes up, uh, the clearance does allow a little bit less tilt, so the tilt does close up a little bit as that clearance moves away. And there's the finished part. And you can see the amount of edge break and what's actually occurred with our deburring process.